Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Welcome if you are new. I'm Karen Casey, and today I'm going to show you how I personally cream, contour, and highlight. And I'm also going to give my review of the cream side of the Urban Decay Naked Shape Shifter Palette. If you would like to see my re short review of the powder side and how I powder contour, go see my last video. Uh, spoiler alert, I love the powder side. But we're going to focus on the cream side today. Now, it comes with five colors, a contour, what they call, where's the box? Right under my leg, okay. So, they call it a dark contour, which I would just call a regular contour shade, which is really nice and cool toned, which is what I look for in a contour shade. Then they have a light contour, which I would call my highlight shade, my cream highlight, and they have two color correctors, a really orangey peachy one and a very light pink. Um, I think the, depending on your skin tone um, and what you're using it for, you can kind of use either lighter skin will probably tend toward the pink, darker skin will probably tend toward the peachy, but if you're having like a really bad dark circle day and you're fa really fair, you can still use the um, peachy tone. And if you're pretty dark and you still, you know, don't have that much of a dark circle, you can definitely still use the pink. Um, and then they have the shimmer, what do they call it? The pearl highlighter. So, that's what they look like in the pan. Here are some swatches that I don't know if you can see real well. This looks really dark, um, but it blends out to almost nothing, but it's very buildable. So if you're looking for a very natural cream highlight and you don't want it to stand out too much, you just want to see the effects of it, gorgeous. Um, and even if you want a darker highlight and you want people to be able to kind of see that it's contoured, you can build this up. Um, this almost matches my skin tone, which is great for me. Um, anyone much darker than me, it might wash them out a little bit, but, you know, this is the light medium. If you need darker, do the medium dark or whatever it is. Um, and then, again, you can barely see the pink, but you can definitely see this peachy orange. And then you can't really see, like, the color or anything, but I think you can see, like, glowing. That's the cream highlight. <laughs> it makes me happy. Okay. So, very blendable, appropriately pigmented. So, like, this looks too pigmented, but once it's blended out, it's gorgeous. Just take my word for this. You need, let's hold it the right way, you need this palette. Um, so save your money, go get it. So, we're going to start. So, the way I start is I take my e.l.f. contouring brush and dip the edge. This is very similar to my powder contouring part, the first part, but we're, you know, this is more extensive. By the way, if you have not mastered powder contouring yet, do that first because there are some elements of powder contouring in this and this is a little more complicated. There's a little more to it. So do powder contouring first, master that, so you'll get comfortable with that and then come back and we'll do this. Okay. So for those of you that are still here, I dip into my shade and just put it on the very edge of my brush and find the hollows of my cheek and where I want to put that line. Don't be afraid if it looks like it's too dark or too much right now. It's going to get blended out. Don't you worry. If you are having trouble finding the hollows of your cheeks, go check out my powder contouring video. I talk about that a little more in depth, but there's a lot to cover here, so I'm not going to talk about that. And make sure you have kind of an even amount of product and that they're even on your face. And I'm going to make that line On my jawbone and then I'm going to dip the flat part of the brush into the color so that the whole thing's covered in the cream and I'm going to do my hairline slash my forehead if you want to know more about why I'm putting what colors where go to my 
powder contouring video again. And at some point, I'll make a video that's really in-depth about what color's going where and why and what it's doing and the whole kit and caboodle. But right now, I'm just telling you how to do what. Don't be afraid to get it actually in your hairline because that can be removed. But you don't want to have any harsh lines. And you don't want to have, like, just this ring around your forehead. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, the, the, the It Brushes for Ulta Seamless Foundation brush. And I'm going to dip into my, what I'm calling my cream highlight shade, what Urban Decay calls the light contour shade. I'm going to coat my brush in this and wherever I this is where um powder contour and cream contour differ I'm going to take this matte shade and put it wherever I didn't put the contour okay okay Ooh, I forgot to do my nose again because I always forget my nose on the edge stamp on the edge stamp actually did that well this time. <laughs> okay, close. Matte shade. Matte highlight. Shade. Yeah. Which side did I put the product on? That side. Now put this wherever you didn't put the uh, contour shade. Don't worry about blending it out right now. Just get it on your face. And I do have a very thin layer of foundation on under this. Um, I should have mentioned that in the beginning. I'll put a part in there that says it. Um, but it needs to be very light because the creams are heavy and they're going to add a little bit more coverage. So if you've got, you know, a whole bunch of foundation on underneath, you're going to end up with a giant cake face. And I'm all about full coverage, but looking cakey is different. All right, so we are all highlighted. Now... For the blending, I'm going to take my Tarte uh, Unicorn Contouring Brush because this is really dense and it's going to help move the cream product around. Although you don't really want to, it's going to help blend the cream product in. You don't really want to move it because we put it in very strategic places. But, um, so, yeah, dense brush. And I'm going to blend, see, it's already blending like a dream. So I'm just going to pull this back and maybe a little bit forward and up a little bit, but mostly just back and forth and back and forth because that's where the line is and that's where we want to keep it. All right, and now my face is very red. I don't know if you can tell in the camera. But it's very red, so I'm going to let that settle so I can see if I need to blend more. So I'm going to move on to my jaw. I'm just pull this down and up a little bit. And I'm realizing I screwed up my nose contour. Not a big deal. You would just blend those brown lines. And I'm going to blend this. back into my hairline so that we don't have any harsh lines. If I get some in my hair, I can remove it later. All right, and that appears to be all blended. Let me check it with my glasses like I always do because I don't have contacts yet. Okay, it looks kind of harsh in the camera, but in life it looks very natural and very subtle. Just trust me. If you want to blend it more, you can. I'm going to pull it up a little more. Ta-da! All right, now for the highlight that we did. I'm going to take my trusty Y7. This is just going to really buff it into the skin, and I'm going to 
just buff that matte highlight into the skin and into the contour so that it's blended and there aren't any harsh lines like I keep saying. Alright, so you can stop here with the cream products. You do want to set this so you wouldn't be done done, but you'd be done with the cream. I like to be a little extra and I, Casey, Casey, I'm filming. <laughs> filming in my living room is hard. So you can be done with the cream products, but I like to be extra. So I'm going to take the pearl highlight. I'm just going to take it on my finger because I don't feel like reaching for it. I'm going to get a good amount of that and I'm going to put it where I would put a powder highlight. So my ch upper cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow. Yeah. And I'm just going to pat it on. Don't really blend it out or anything. Well, you can blend it out if you want a more subtle glow, if you want a more blinding glow like I want because it's what I like. Don't really blend it out. Just tap it on and get it on the skin. All right. Now, because this is a cream, you're going to want to set it because otherwise it can just, you know, come right off on your hand. It can melt. It can whatever. You can use a translucent powder. That will work splendidly. In, in order to intensify what I've done a little bit and just because I like how it looks when I do this, I'm going to set the creams here with the powders on the other side. I'm going to use what I would use for powder highlighting. Um, except in my powder highlighting video, I didn't use this shade. This shade is what I used to set the cream matte highlight that we used. So, this to set the contour, this to set the matte, and this to set the glow. Okay? Easy enough. I'm going to take my Morphe. No. Mm, is that what I want to use? Yeah, that's what I want to use. I'm going to take my Morphe, because that's the cleanest one I have, and I'm going to dip it very lightly into my... Contour shade. When you're putting, these are very pigmented in the first place, the powders. So when you're putting it on the cream, it's going to really intensify that powder. So you want to be extra light handed if you're doing it this way. So I'm going to tap this very lightly on where we have our powder con the cream contour. <laughs> All right, and because I don't really want to move this around, I just want to blend it in, I'm going to still take this and I'm going to wipe off any excess powder that there is because I don't want to add any more. I just want to blend. And I'm just going to blend this like I would a powder because it is powder. Just back and forth so you're not moving that cream underneath and so that you're not spreading the the contour too much. You can also stipple it out if you want instead of swiping because that will help not move the product around. I sometimes forget to do that. Not a big deal. All right and as always I'm going to check this with my glasses because I can't see. Alright, and that is all blended out. Now, because like I said, I'm pretty extra, I'm going to set my shimmer highlight that's on my nose and my cheekbones with the pearl shimmer highlight here. All of you blinding highlight lovers are going to love this. Alright, you ready for this? You ready? You re I don't think you're ready. Take a minute to prepare yourself. Get ready. I'm going to do this with my finger for a really nice, intense shine. And I'm going to put this on where we had the cream. <gasps> I love it. 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 And just pat, pat, pat. 
Rub it a little bit. <laughs> Nose. Cupid bow. Now I'm going to take this pale shade here and set my, just with a big fluffy brush, any big fluffy brush, and set where I put the matte highlight. Be careful not to put it where the rest of your stuff is. This can be a little difficult, so if you want to use not quite as fluffy of a brush, that is also acceptable. And you can go over any areas with another powder that got a little messy because of the matte powder that we just used. The white one. Those are the words. Ta-da! That is how you cream contour and highlight. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned anything or you liked the review of the palette, which, by the way, to sum up, um, both sides, appropriately pigmented, very blendable, easy to get a very natural look, easy to build up, fantastic. A couple of the shades are a little too pigmented for my taste. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. I put out three videos a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Video number three. Video number three. Let's get going. Let's go. I didn't think anybody was home. I'm sorry. I'm filming. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you're going to want to cut that. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> or put it in a blooper. Editing is a beautiful thing. Okay. Oh, wait, did I not set my... I didn't set my...